In January 2008, eCademy subject matter experts Thomas and Penny Power had their knowledge productized for global release. The video you're about to watch is the result of that process. To find out how to create your own line of knowledge products for global monetization, or to view videos from other knowledge experts, visit www.productizeyourself.com. Now, the other thing about blogs is you can post a poll. So you can ask a question, and you can get people to answer that question. You can decide how many answers to that question you're going to give, like multiple choice. You can decide on the number of uh, questions. Down here you've got choice of these questions, how long you want the poll to run for. And if I bring up some polls here, I'll click on uh, the latest polls so that you can see what kind of things people are asking about. So we've got questions there, lightweight questions about uh, fantasy football. Are you interested in getting paid for networking? What is your daily charge out rate? The value of asking these questions as a poll is you get a sample as opposed to qualitative opinion. You get some measures. Do people charge their time out £100 a day? Do they charge it out at £1,000 a day? Where do the majority charge it out? And the more people you have in your network, the more people you can let know about that particular question and get a sample. And You might want to use that sample to inform in a presentation, in a meeting, with a supplier, with a friend, with a client. Now, when you make comments on other people's blogs, the system keeps a record of those as well. So you've got my comments, if I click on that there, the system loads everything I've said on other people's blogs. Because you might be a bit uncomfortable about starting your own particular debate straight away, asking your own particular question straight away. Uh, we've got here touching other lives. Is it worth being a black star? Black star by nature. Black, white, male or female, Barack or, or, or Hillary. Something to do with the American uh, presidency. These are all other blogs questions articles that other people started that I commented on okay so everything that you post is recorded whether you start it or somebody else starts it and then it's all searchable and remember the more you publish the more you're found the less you publish the less you're found and we're all competing worldwide now with an expert as good as us if not better in 200 countries you know we've got a billion people on the internet. That is a very, very competitive worldwide market. So lastly, we want to look at the top bloggers. So if I look down here at the top bloggers, click on that link. You might want to talk to the top publishers first to get advice. Find out why, for instance, if we look here, you can see the data is covered in the last 90 days. The 643 people who've posted in the last 90 days. Look how many articles that they have written. 118, 90, 82, 78. That remembers in the last three months. So the people at the top are publishing something every day. Why are they doing it every day? Because it works. Because their particular niche that they've carved out, they're out publishing all of their rivals, all of their competitors worldwide. So when people are searching on their particular area of expertise, they're finding their and their profile and their articles. So if you want some advice, have a chat with those particular people because they're the top active bloggers in the group. So that's blogs. Blogs are about publishing your area of expertise through debate, through questioning, through discussion, through comment. And the more you publish, the more you're found. Any questions about blogs and publishing? Paul. At the start of this session, section on blogs, you talked about writing for Google. What do you mean specifically by that? I'm aware that certain keywords are picked up, but how would I interpret that? Okay, so if I pop down here to Google and bring up the Google browser, if you uh, give me a give me an area of expertise that you consider you know well, you yourself. Nutrition. 
Nutrition. N-U-T-R-I-T-I-O-N. Nutrition. So if I search on nutrition, this is what I found first. The British Nutrition Foundation, uh, BBC, Brian Mack, and Wikipedia. Now one of the things we've learned from search, from observation, is most people only look at the first page. If they don't find what they're looking for on the first page, they go for another search. Now, if you tell us that you're an expert in nutrition, and we put in nutrition, and we put in your name, Paul Clegg, to the system, and we don't find you on that first page, you're not an expert. You might think you're an expert, <laughs> but we're checking straight away, because people are Googling us all. You know? that's, why I'm I was asking, that's why I was asking about, is it a matter of writing lots of blogs about nutrition, or is it about the words you choose in your blogs, particularly I notice in those first two lines? Well, it's about, it's about those two things and a third thing. It's not just how much you write, and it's not just the words you write, but it's the number of people who link to what you've written. So if you wrote, for instance, 100 articles on nutrition, and nobody linked to them on any other sites, you could assume that they were rubbish, and that you were not an expert. If you wrote 100 articles on nutrition and you suddenly found links to those articles on 10,000 sites, people would say, who's Paul Clegg? He must be an expert. So your connectedness creates your attractiveness. When you see a link, do you mean by that a click or a specific link? Because I, I recommend various people on a blog that I do. Um, um, that makes my blog, I think, more interesting. Uh, are they get, is that a link or is it somebody l looking at it? It's the former. It's when you're recommending Rebecca and you're putting a link to Rebecca and you're taking somebody off to her profile okay. or her blog or her article and so on. Mm. And the more links you have as an individual, the more connected you are. The more connected you are, the more attractive you are. The more attractive you are, the more people come and read your stuff. The more people read your stuff, the more people want to meet you. The more people want to meet you, the more connected you become. The more connected you become, the more attractive you become, and it becomes a, a virtuous circle. Oh.